That's Ryan's car. We're getting ready to go out and have some dinner in a most interesting way. So no one follows you. Yeah, right? you can't leave until you get And this is the ramp. It's good for airplanes. Yeah, it sounds like. You get to drive directly on the yep. tarmac. Yep. That's so cool. You just have to keep an eye out because there's helicopters that hover around here too. Sitting at, we're at a Wawa right outside the airport. You can see the airport right over there. We gotta wait because we're doing maintenance on the plane. There's like a little nut that holds. Was it the steering thing on the on the uh, on the front on the front landing gear? There's like a nut missing on it, so we have to wait because they gotta replace that just so you know we don't die. Oh, is that? So we're at Wawa having a coat. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to die. It's the last thing you want to do. So then we're going to we're gonna go fly to the land to get uh, have dinner. Increase productivity in the airport. Get back over on the short. We've been here for about an hour. I'll show you what we're waiting on. We're waiting for the mechanic to come fix See this little bolt right here? It's supposed to be a nut right there. So there's no nut keeping this in. And that little thing, I think controls the steering of this. So that's, oh, oh it's a shock. This is the steering and this is a shock for it. So that's what we're waiting on. He's here. I couldn't tell if it was like. No. I would have never known if it was even supposed to have something there. I guess it would. Thanks for coming to fix it for us, man. Sun setting in Orlando. The uh, mechanic is still working on the other plane, uh, so we're going to take this Piper here instead uh, because they, he couldn't get the bolt out. He's going to be working on it for a while. So there's another plane available, so that's what we're going to take. So I'm a little late leaving, but this is going to be fun. It's been a while since I've flown my buddy here. <laughs> this is going to be great. Doing some pre-flight checks. Ten of this beast. I 
Hank's gonna have to pull the plane with his hands out, out into the runway. <laughs> That's fantastic. This is about to get interesting. Look how 70s this plane is. There's a cigarette lighter. <laughs> and an ashtray. Which apparently someone uses for snacks. Same process as last time. What is it you're doing? And I'm, I'm I know it's pre-flight. Doing a checklist. Stuff, but... I'm starting it right now. Awesome. <laughs> I'm getting ready to start. Is it the strobe lights making the noise? Yeah. Wow. They're audible. Clear.
here we are. We have landed into land. And there's a band playing at the restaurant right over there. Walking over to <laughs> this uh, order thing. <laughs> Walking through the airport over to a restaurant. <laughs> this is awesome. We made it. And we're in the land. This little airport restaurant. Get this one. Get this one. Hey, stop. Green outside. Get this one right here. <laughs> All right, y'all, while we're doing a little swap off. Hey, if you got a beer in your hand or a hat on your head, y'all do me a favor and put it up in the air right quick. Let's give a shout out and a salute to all our military and veterans out there to keep us safe and make this all possible.
About to get some gas. <laughs> what is this bad boy? It's a grounding strap. Oh, all right. So try to prevent a fire or something? Yeah, so you don't spark the... This is 100, 100 octane leaded gas. Um, planes take 100 octane leaded. So a little more involved than filling up a Volvo. Flashlight? There you go, man. Flashlight. So there's this thing here. It's, a, it's like... Your airplane is grounded and press enter. Then you have to put. Hold on, let me hold the credit card so I can get the number real quick. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> number four, four, one. Four, four, four. <laughs> In case you were wondering what, how much fuel costs in an airplane. <laughs> what octane is this? 100. Is this what they call avgas? It is. So people run this in their cars. So it's just, where does it say it's 100 leaded, leaded fuel? Or you just got to know that's what it is. Yeah, it says up here, Avgas 100 low lead. Oh, there we are. There we go. Avgas 100 low lead. No smoking. Flammable. I'm amazed that they have to write that on there. But you know there's some jackass who's going to be filling out their plane smoking. Right, oh, there we go. You put all this shit in. Avgas 100 low lead. Yeah, so... Those of you who don't know, some people with... Uh, some well, ridiculous cars will run the same fuel. There's two types of fuel on an airport. There's, there's av gas and there's jet fuel, which is diesel. You don't want to put jet fuel in your propeller, piston-driven airplane because it won't run. Just like if you put diesel in an unleaded car, it just, well, yeah. it's just going to ruin it. So these are colored differently. Uh, this is blue. This fuel is tinted blue. And jet fuel is either red or clear. So, can I run the pump? Whoa. Yeah, you can run the pump. Come on. All right, well. Go for it. It's a little more substantial than a car one. Yeah, it's it's quite a thing. Look at the size of this bad boy. Here you go. See, we're not filling it all the way up. We gotta be able to see what we're doing. There's a tab in there. We only fill it. We only fill it. No, I need to hit the. Oh yeah, you gotta turn it. Gotta go hit the thing. I need your flashlight. There's a tab. We fill it. We we want to fill it until we get to that metal tab. You can't see. That's good. Oh, it is blue. Yep, you can see it's blue. Okay. Ooh. There you go. Look out, look out, look out. Okay. You want me to go hit it off? No, no, no. We gotta do both ones. Oh, okay. How many gallons does it say? Oh, let me go see. That uh, looks like we're right about four gallons. Yeah, one in each wing, right? Yeah. <laughs> we gotta fill them evenly. Yep. We use more out of this one. And they're, they don't feed at the same time. You have to select which one you want. There's no both setting.
take a look in there, see what it looks like at the tabs, so you can tell what I'm talking about. Oh, I see. That tab indicates 14 gallons available. All right. seven, sorry, 17 gallons available. In that so you tank. just wanted to fill it up till it touched the tab. Yeah, if you fill it to the top, you're at 24 gallons. If you fill it to the tab, you're at 17 gallons. All right, cool. Our, our club only fills to the tabs, which gives you 34 total. So we spent about 50 bucks, a little over $50, 52 bucks, not bad to fly to dinner. Plus the cost of bringing the plane. Yeah, yeah, and dinner. And dinner, yeah. It's 55 80 Not bad. Now, how, how do we get this thing to retract? To hit this button? If it works. This one didn't work last time I tried. You want to you wanna guide it? Probably just gonna make a bunch of noise. Yeah. Oh, it actually works. They fixed it. You gotta go with your foot if you don't want your arm ripped off. Go. Hey, hey, hey stop, stop, stop. Look out, look out. This thing is, is, is very powerful. Yeah, I noticed. This is a heavy hose. So you guide it with your foot if you don't want to die. <laughs> That's quite a thing to have to do every time you want to fill your plane. And then we got to get the other the clamp off, the grounding. <laughs> Man. People have a hard enough time filling up their cars without driving away and having that thing snap off. I can't imagine the average numbnuts trying to do that. Well, they typically do require a little bit more training to do this than they do to drive a car. Well, yeah. That's far less exciting. <laughs> that is how we do that. Put in her back. Check this out, this is cool. It's like a World War One aeroplane. I don't know if you can see it. Totally cool.